Today is the third day. Prosecutors and defense attorneys question witnesses in the trial of Chad Isaac. Isaac is accused of killing four people at RGR Maintenance and Management in April of 2019. Reporter Maddie Beer Temple has been following the case this week and is live at the Morton County Courthouse. Maddie, there's been a lot of testimony in these last days. What did you see and hear today? Hi, Nicholas. The longest portion of testimony today came from Special Agent Joe Ahrens with the Bureau of Criminal Investigation. He described the state of the bodies found, the signs of struggle in the office, and the surveillance video that he says shows there was a single suspect. The defense disputes that. When Don Eliason arrived to work at RJR about 8 a.m. April 1st, 2019, he saw co-workers outside, an ambulance, and something else out of place. The only thing that concerned us was that Bill's vehicle was missing from the shop. Soon, Special Agent Joe Ahrens arrived to survey the scene. He eventually concluded, based on surveillance video, one person committed the four murders. It was a subject that had was wearing an orange mask, an orange jacket, dark colored pants, dark colored shoes, and dark colored um, gloves. The defense disputes that, saying there wasn't surveillance video everywhere, just one area of RJR. These crimes are not on the video, correct? Correct. He said special agents followed all procedures when collecting evidence. Any agent that was ever going to be coming into contact with evidence would have always been wearing gloves. Aaron's also described finding the four victims in other items strewn about the office, showing signs of struggle. That includes the wallets of Adam Fuhrer and Lois Cobb with their IDs taken out, supposedly so the suspect could identify who was killed. Aaron said those IDs weren't checked for fingerprints because the suspect was seen in surveillance video wearing gloves. Whether it would have been advisable to, to test those items. Um, it could have been. Aaron's also took questions about bloody shoe prints found on the scene, saying, to the best of his knowledge, they don't match the tread of shoes worn by first responders or law enforcement. It was just, it was different. Uh, it looked different to me than the other shoe impressions in that area. Did it look different to you again, just based on your visual review, to a duty boot? It did not look like a duty boot I had ever seen. A Mandan police officer also testified about his time surveying Indigo signs on April 1st, 2019, where an RJR pickup truck was parked just a few blocks from the RJR building. The prosecution has argued the suspect drove that vehicle to Indigo signs after fleeing the scene. Did you receive tips in this case? Mandan Police Department and other agencies received tips. I do not know what they were. When the case continues Monday morning, attorneys will question a medical examiner who will go through multiple autopsy photos of the victims. The defense today argued that much of those photos would be too graphic for the jury, but they came to an agreement with the prosecution. Nicholas, back to you. Maddie, thanks for all your hard work this week. We appreciate it. Now to our weekly